Hello guys, in this episode we will learn how to pass custom object between two activities using Passable interface. So create a new Android Studio project. First make an another activity, right click on package name, new, activity, then select entity activity, name it as a second activity. Now click on finish. Here define a key pair. So in Kotlin we define the constant key using companion object. Companion object here define our constant keys. Our key name extra data and its value. Now create a new custom data class, right click on package name, new, Kotlin class, name it as employee, now click on class and then enter, first make it as data class, so in Kotlin data class allow you to create simple model object that avoid a lot of while create for comparing printing and copying object now declare a constructor here declare three variable name email and age now implement the employee class with possible interface now at the top of the data class use the added pass like annotation now go to activity main.xml here drag a text view in our activity layout, define constraint for this text view, set the vertical wise, change the text of this text view to first activity, change the text size to 22 SP. text color to black and text style to bold now drag a button in our activity layout define constraint for this button set the vertical wise of this button Change the text of this button to send data. Now go to main activity dot Kotlin. Here declare a array list of employee. And initialize it. Array list of employee. Now make a function add employee. So inside the function here add the data to our array list employee array list dot add and our employee object. First one is name, second one email. And at last is now add the second employee. First one name, second one email, and age. Now set the click listener on the button and call the add employee function. 
to add the data now create an intent object it takes two parameter first one is context second one is activity class that we want to launch second activity double column class dot java now add the data in the form of key value pair to the intent object using put extra function intent dot put extra here the key used in the second activity second activity dot extra data and our employee array list now start the target activity by calling start activity function start activity and pass our intent object now go to activity second dot xml here drag a text view in our activity layout define constraint for this text view set the margin to this text view now change the text of this text view to second activity change the text size to 22 xp text color to black and text style to bold now drag another text view define constraint for this set the margin for this text view change the text of this text view to first employee change the text size to 22 sp text style to bold in text color to black now drag another text view define constraint for this set the margin for this text view change the id to this text view to f name change the text size to 22 sp now drag another text view define constraint for this set the margin for this text view change the id to of this text view to f email change the text size to 22 sp now drag another text view define constraint for this set the margin to this text view change the id to this text view to f8 change the text size to 22 sp now drag another text view define constraint for this set the margin to this text view change the text of this text view to second employee change the text size to 22 sp text color to black
and text style to bold. Now drag another text view. Define constraint for this. Set the margin to this text view. Change the ID to this text view to S name. And change the text size to 22 SP. Now drag another text view. Define constraint for this. Set the margin to this text view. Change the ID to this text view to S email. Change the text size to 22 SP. Now drag another text view. Define constraint for this. Set the margin to this text view. Change the ID to this text view to S age. And change the text size to 22 SP. Now go to second activity dot Coquitlin. Here declare an array list of employee class. Employee array list. Array list of employees. And initialize it. Now get the data from the main activity in 10 dot get parsable array list extra and here parsable key name. Now set the data of first employee our text view id name dot text equal to employee array list dot get index 0 dot name then set the email then set the is Since age is integer, so we have to convert it into a string. Now set the second employee data. Index 1 dot name. Now set the email of second employee. At last, set the age of second employee. Now we can test our application. So when we click on send data, our custom object is passed to another activity. I hope you will understand this concept. Please subscribe my channel for getting more Android tutorial updates.